Keep walking! This is Ryan Wesley Routh, the suspected gunman in the apparent assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump at Trump International Golf Club in West Palm Beach on Sunday. Law enforcement officials apprehended Routh about 50 miles north of the club, approximately 45 minutes after he fled the scene. Here's how the day unfolded. Starting around 2 a.m. on September 15th, cell phone records suggest Routh was located around this strip of trees on the southeast side of the golf club. Nearly 12 hours later, former President Donald Trump was on the course, walking between the fifth and sixth holes. At around 1.31 p.m., a Secret Service agent stationed ahead of the former president spotted a rifle poking out of the tree line. The agent fired in the direction of the rifle. Officials say Routh did not fire at the agent. The journal located crime scene photos to roughly this spot on Summit Boulevard, which runs along the golf course's southern perimeter and is near the sixth hole. Photos provided by the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office show that Routh had a semi-automatic rifle with a scope, a digital camera, and two bags near the area. Shortly after the Secret Service agent fired shots, a witness spotted Routh fleeing to a black Nissan SUV. Cell phone records show he left the area by around 1.31 p.m. The Martin County Sheriff told Fox News that police caught the car shortly after a be on the lookout alert went out. Within a few minutes of that bolo, my crew was on top of that car and conducted the felony stop. At 2.14, nearly 45 minutes after he fled, police stopped Routh here on Interstate 95. They got 30 vehicles blocking the highway, it's more than that. Routh was charged Monday with possessing a firearm despite being a felon and having a firearm with a wiped out serial number.